At the Climate Council, our energy expert has been busy writing a landmark report investigating Australia's electricity sector. Here's what we found. By the end of this decade, in less than six years, almost half our coal-fired power stations will be 40 years old and up for retirement or replacement. Not only are these stations old, they're inefficient, which means Australia produces more pollution per unit of electricity than China, the US and other oil-rich Middle Eastern nations. In fact, Australia is one of the world's 10 biggest emitters of greenhouse gases from electricity and heat production. The good news is this offers Australia the opportunity to fundamentally rethink our energy system. We need to do this for two reasons. Because our electricity sector is ageing and inefficient, and because climate change demands that we must drastically cut our emissions. So what should we do? One idea is to continue burning fossil fuels and retrofit our ageing coal-fired power stations with carbon capture and storage technologies. But this is not really practical or cost-effective because many of our coal-fired power stations are too old to be retrofitted for CCS. It's also clear that coal-fired power will struggle to compete economically with other sources of electricity as the world moves to limit emissions. See, all across the world, renewable energy is taking off. Wind capacity is set to double worldwide by 2017. China will be the leading country, followed by the USA, Germany and India. Worldwide, this new capacity added in wind, solar PV and hydro is already far greater than fossil fueled energy. Internationally, the costs of wind and solar PV renewables are generally lower now than the coal plants with CCS. It's becoming clear that competitive, low emissions electricity is fundamental to long-term wealth creation and a healthy future for Australians. And even though we're not keeping up with the rest of the world, that's not to say Australians don't love renewables. By the end of 2013, over 1.1 million Australian householders had installed solar PV on their roofs to reduce their exposure to higher power prices. 10 to 15,000 more homes add solar PV each month. It's clear, we're going to have to retire or replace many of our power stations pretty urgently because they're becoming obsolete and it takes over a decade to plan, design, finance and build major new power infrastructure. So why not replace them with something we love? Something world class, something that's affordable and something that's going to last. Be part of the solution. Help our experts share this important message.